So I was thinking what I used to be like, which was work hard, play hard. So I'd work, I'm talking 70, 80 hours a week, working all the time, thinking about work, obsessing about work, back in my career as a recruiter, and then playing hard, which at the time meant partying hard, to going out and just drinking. And those two things are not sustainable together. You have to, at some point, at some point in your late 20s, early 30s, you realize that that is not sustainable. And what you actually need, and what I feel right now more than ever, is work hard, play hard, but adventure hard. That play hard is adventure hard, travel lots, things that are nourishing for the soul and feed back into your work. You want to leave your mark on the world. So you want to be great in your job or whatever it is you're choosing to do, whether it's a professional runner, whether it's a cyclist, whether it's a, a business person, recruiter, whatever it is you're doing, you want to absolutely smash it out of the park. And the way to do that is to make it sustainable over a long period of time. I'm talking 5, 10, 15, 20 years. Anybody can be good for a year. It's really easy to have a good game of football or a good season. What's really impressive is somebody who has a 15, 20 year career in football. They've already got the money. They're already earning mega money as a, as a professional footballer in the Premier League, but they're still motivated 10, 15, 20 years into their career to win because it's not the extrinsic motivation of making money that's the big driver for them. It's the intrinsic motivation of winning the game, of the process of training that they love. To have a career for 10, 15, 20 years, you've got to love training. Just as much as you love going out there on a Saturday and performing in front of 60,000 people and scoring the winner at your home ground, you've got to love it that much. Exactly the same in business. If you're trying to build your own business or you're getting in your career and you, tr you want to get ahead, You've got to be committed. You've got to be 100% committed and your work ethic has got to be solid. But to do that consistently over many months, many years, decades, you've got to have it sustainable. So you've got to cap what you can actually do in a day. And what I'd say to that is the biggest thing you can do is define a successful day. Define what it is to you to have success in a day. Once that's done, okay, that's it. Because if you don't have that definition, and if you don't know what a good day or a bad day or a great day and a good day is, you're going to end up just working and unfulfilled. And you'll feel like you'll be going to bed that night and you'll feel like a lack of purpose. Leaves are attacking me, but I keep thinking it's giant spiders coming out of the jungle. So beautiful. But it's got to be sustainable over a long period of time. You've got to really love it. And to love it and to stay not bored by it, to keep excited by what you're doing, it needs to be sustainable, so you need to be having breaks. So you need to be getting out, maybe at the weekends, maybe on a monthly basis, very, very, very frequently, you need to be getting out there. And I'd say, I'd always advocate getting out there and running, getting out there and exercising, and getting out there and seeing the rest of the world. I looked it up last night because I, somebody asked me, what's the minimum wage in the UK? Minimum wage is 10 pounds 42, and that's the minimum. So that means that even at supermarkets, many of them are paying more than 10 pounds 42. That's 21,000 pounds a year, which means if you're working for a supermarket that's paying just 20% more, that's 25,000 pounds a year. If there's two of you in a household earning 25,000 pounds a year, you're doing really well compared to the rest of the world if you're from the UK. Exactly the same situation in the US. If you're in Russia right now, your, your, basic, your, 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 your minimum wage is something like 200 to 300 dollars per month. Cost of living is still rising and that's in the big cities. So you've got to take that golden ticket when you're born in somewhere like the UK or the US or Europe, you've got to take that golden ticket. You've got to run with it. Because if you don't run with it, if you don't take full advantage of your free healthcare, your free education, yeah, your parents are different. Completely get it. We've all got different parents and we've all got a different starting point. But you've got free healthcare, free education, and you've got the opportunity to learn and listen at school. If you don't take that and get into something, start making wise decisions from a pretty young age, and run with the ball into a career where you're excited by it and you can smash it out of the park, you're doing yourself an injustice and it's an absolute sin. It really is a sin. I know it's a strong word, I know it's a religious word, but you're, 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 you're literally eating yourself if you don't take advantage of that golden ticket. If you, don't re if you don't realize that being born, and that's just luck of the draw, being born in the UK, if you don't realize how lucky you are to be born in a country with safety, not involved in wars, free healthcare, free education, and probably to a good household, to, probably to good parents, you don't realize how lucky you are to have those things, then go out and travel. It's the only recipe, it's the only 
antidote for, for that, if you don't realize how lucky you are, go out and travel and see the rest of the world. The biggest thing that I've had from traveling in the last 20 years, coming to places like Thailand, Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, even parts of Malaysia, is just in this pocket of Southeast Asia, is people do not have what we have. And you may hear reports of what is the minimum salary here, what is the typical standard of living here. Come and see it for yourself because it's not as is reported. And people are, people are, are suffering or surviving on the absolute poverty level, which means not got access to clean water in a lot of places, not got access to food every night. So a lot of them are having poor diets on just rice and things like that. Really, you have a golden ticket if you're from a developed country There's not in a war. You have a golden ticket. You owe it to yourself to absolutely smash it to the pipe. But the main, if you get something from this video, know that you're very, very lucky. Yeah, and I don't want to feel like I'm preaching to you, but know that you're very, very lucky. Appreciate that and reflect and appreciate that on a regular basis. I do on a daily basis. What am I happy for? I'm happy for this watermelon right now because Jesus Christ, it is delicious. It's crunchy and it's, it's tasty, it's amazing. Papaya, exactly the same. Banana smoothie every single day. Think about the beautiful things that you've got access to on a regular basis that you take for granted because it's just bananas, it's just watermelon, just papaya. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a luxury. And if you look after those small things, you're going to be even more grateful for the bigger things. And then don't forget what I told you about make it sustainable. So work hard, play hard. Yeah, it's an old way and I get it. You want to work hard your early 20s, and then go out and enjoy yourself at parties. If you can work hard and the play hard is travel, come to places like this, go out and exercise, do something good for your body, it's gonna nourish your soul and you're gonna go far.